Module D. Responsible Research and Innovation What is Responsible Research and Innovation? Within the context of Horizon 2020, Responsible Research and Innovation is understood as a process where all societal actors work together during the whole research and innovation cycle. This is meant to better align research and innovation outcomes to the values, needs and expectations of European society. Responsible research and innovation is a cross-cutting issue in Horizon 2020, meaning that it should be applied across the whole Horizon 2020. The Annex 1 of the Regulation on Horizon 2020 gives indication on the way cross-cutting issues are conceived. Cross-cutting issues will be promoted between specific objectives of the three priorities as necessary to develop new knowledge, key competences and major technological breakthroughs, as well as translating knowledge into economic and societal value. Interdisciplinary solutions will have to be developed which cut across the multiple specific objectives of Horizon 2020. Horizon 2020 will provide incentives for actions dealing with such cross-cutting issues, including by the efficient bundling of budgets. The issues relating to science and society are considered as cross-cutting issues. Responsible research and innovation, one of the items explicitly mentioned under Article 14 of the regulation, is a cross-cutting issue. Gender is also explicitly mentioned under Article 14 of the Regulation and is included into the Responsible Research and Innovation. In practice, Responsible Research and Innovation is a package including five dimensions. The engagement of citizens and civil society in research and innovation. The gender equality and gender dimension in research content formal and informal science education, ethics, and a more open science including the open access to scientific results. A responsible research and innovation approach should contain all of these dimensions without excluding any of them. In the five slides to come, you will see how responsible research and innovation has been integrated into Horizon 2020. Engagement of citizens and civil society in Horizon 2020 activities. Horizon 2020 is the first framework program explicitly inviting civil society to sit in the external advisory boards and for the evaluation. Furthermore, the pilot activities launched in the previous framework programs under Science and Society and Science in Society are now mainstreamed participatory processes, mobilizing and mutual learning action plans, transdisciplinary research and innovation can be found all over Horizon 2020 to various degrees. Science with and for society is still supporting societal engagement in research and innovation, for example through the topic Citizens and Multi-Actor Engagement for Scenario Building in its work program for 2014-2015. Gender is an important policy dimension that goes much beyond Horizon 2020 at European level. The external advisory groups for Horizon 2020 are now bound to a strict gender balance. Furthermore, each advisory group should have at least one expert with a gender expertise. The composition of our evaluation panels and our usual expert groups should not go below the limit of 40% of the underrepresented sex. In research teams, the model grant agreement requires a best effort obligation to promote equal opportunities. Gender balance is a ranking factor for proposals with same scores. Finally, the Commission is flagging the topics with an explicit gender dimension and it will follow up the gender dimension through the entire research cycle from work program to reporting. As stated in Horizon 2020 regulation, Science Within for Society is encouraging citizens 
to engage in science through formal and informal science education and promote the diffusion of science-based activities, namely in science centers and through other appropriate channels. Two topics are foreseen under the work program 2014-2015. Innovative ways to make science education and scientific careers attractive to young people and responsible research and innovation in higher education curricula. Furthermore, support to education can be found in various places in the three main priorities of Horizon 2020. Horizon 2020 will comply with the highest ethical standards. The Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union is one of the cornerstones of our ethical requirements. Any proposal contravening ethical principles may be excluded at any time, before, during or after the evaluations. Ethic reviews are systematically carried out by the Commission for proposals raising ethical issues. Horizon 2020 is favoring a science open to society. The accessibility and the use of research results are of the utmost importance for their responsible and efficient use in society. Open access to scientific publications resulting from publicly funded research under Horizon 2020 will be the rule. The open access to research data resulting from Horizon 2020 will be promoted. This is the case, for example, for the Societal Challenge 6 that will participate in the pilot on open research data in Horizon 2020. Science with and for society will further develop the accessibility and the use of the results of publicly funded research. The Commission is doing its best to promote responsible research and innovation all across Horizon 2020, and you what are you doing for responsible research and innovation? You can find more information on Science With and For Society on the following websites and following our Twitter account on Responsible Research Innovation. Thank you for your attention.